What seems to be a careful balancing act, the Lankan government is reaching out to both India and China. Over the weekend, the Sri Lankan Prime Minister Dinesh Gunavardhane wrapped up his official visit to China. It was the first trip by a top Lankan leader to Beijing after Colombo put a moratorium on recurring visits by Chinese research ships. Now, last week also saw an India visit by the Sri Lankan National Security Advisor and President's Chief of Staff, Sagla Ratna Yaka that led a high-level team to assess bilateral economic connectivity projects between Sri Lanka and India. Now, analysts say a closer relationship with India is the way forward for Sri Lanka. During the 2022 economic crisis, India's $4 billion in aid was a lifeline. The Lankan National Security Advisor met Indian uh, Foreign Secretary and both sides reviewed bilateral projects uh, with the focus being on timely implementation. In recent years, the, Sri Lankan, uh, the relationship between Sri Lanka and India has been marked by close contact at the highest political level and growing trade and investment. During his China visit, meanwhile, the Lankan Prime Minister met the President Xi Jinping and the Chinese Premier Li Qiang. China assured the visitor that it will play a positive role in easing Sri Lankan financial difficulties and in its bid to achieve debt sustainability. Colombo vowed to accelerate the formulation of a Belt and Road Initiative cooperation plan to advance Beijing's projects in the island nation. The Belt and Road Initiative is an ambitious plan to make new trade routes connecting China and the rest of the world. China is Sri Lanka's largest bilateral lender, owing 52% of the $40 billion external debt when Sri Lanka announced its first sovereign default in 2022. The latest move comes days after the Lankan government announced that the Hammond Tota port and the Colombo airport will be developed by China. And our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl has sent us this report from New Delhi. Over the weekend, a top Sri Lankan official was in Delhi. The security advisor to the Sri Lankan president held talks with Indian officials, including with the Indian Foreign Secretary. During his talks, uh, he pointed out uh, to uh, the ongoing talks with the IMF uh, when it comes to the bailout process, uh, but uh, also thanked the Indian side uh, for providing the much needed support during the economic crisis his country uh, faced. He emphasized on economic integration and connectivity with India as well. There was a review of the ongoing bilateral projects supported by New Delhi. Uh, to which both sides have agreed that there will be a quarterly review of India-led projects, the India-assisted projects in Sri Lanka, so that uh, there can be an early conclusion of uh, these projects. But uh, an important visit uh, comes at a time when there has been increased high-level engagement. Uh, uh, we know that uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister and uh, the Sri Lankan President uh, had met uh, in the month of uh, February in Australia and uh, the focus of course is uh, how india can support sri lanka amidst the economic crisis it has been facing with video journalist ajit sidhan sibyl for vion for all the latest news download the vion app and subscribe to our youtube channel